Hey everybody, I'm Mira Romanowski, back with uh, video number two in this series that I'm calling Unhelpful Thinking Styles. So if you missed my previous video, go ahead and check it out. I'm going to leave a link below. But uh, basically what we're doing is we're looking at the way we're thinking. So um, it is possible that you have some cognitive distortion, some unhelpful thinking happening in your unconscious mind. Um, and then it is affecting the way you see the world so that there is tension created inside, stress created inside, and so there's conflict happening in your life. And when we have conflict inside, so when we have a thought that's creating a lot of tension, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, and I'm using these words specifically because we use them in our word, in our daily life but do we know what stress means do we know what anxiety is and so basically it's two conflicting thoughts in your mind one that probably is in your unconscious mind and one in your conscious mind and they're opposites so they're not in alignment and so you're not having a good day so what do i mean here so unhelpful thinking style two is over generalization so this, an example of this is uh, taking one incident that happens and seeing a pattern out of that one incident and reflecting it onto other things. So for example, if, um, if I had a bad experience with somebody at Kohl's or Woolies and someone was just having a bad day, the sales clerk was uh, having a bad day and she... Uh, didn't say good morning to me and she didn't say goodbye to me. She just put my stuff through and then um, set me on my way. If I had this overgeneralization type of thinking, I would say that every woman who works in Woolworths is such a rude sales assistant and I'm never going to shop in Woolworths again. All because this one time, one person didn't say good morning or goodbye to me or didn't ask me how my day was. This is overgeneralization. Now, I'm not going to say that it, it happens uh, that easily, but it could just be, for example, driving. <laughs> and I get this in my car all the time. Why is that person going so slow? And then they look and they go, oh, look, it's an old person. Of course, they're going slow because they're an old person. Now, once again, this is overgeneralizing. We are, we are taking one incident and making it a pattern into the future so that later on, when we look at old people, we say, oh, they're always slow on the road. Or, oh, everyone at Woolworths doesn't say hello or goodbye to their customers. So this is just a way of creating like tension inside us and also fabricating and, and, and making uh, assumptions about other people where they haven't even been given a fair chance yet. So uh, it, it is something that happens inside us. So everything always starts with us and everything always is up to us and everything ends with us and and that is the premise of empowerment so if you stop to think about what's upsetting you come back to think about your thinking style what are you thinking about what is it that is causing the tension inside you what is it that you're saying to yourself that could be causing uh, the feelings of unease, the feelings of tension, the feelings of frustration and anger. So I hope this little video helped to explain what overgeneralization is. Listen for it in your um, language for yourself. Listen for it in the language of people around you and think to yourself, ah, they're overgeneralizing. They're taking one situation that happened and then forecasting it and putting it on others. Uh, and that's really not fair because everybody has a right to be judged on what they're saying and what they're, what they're doing and not what they did just that one time when they weren't even aware of what they were doing. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody, and I'll see you in my next video.